What is up, guys? We are the Professor Fry Show. Now, Professor Fry could not be here today. She wants to give me, Officer Muniz, her security officer, a chance to do this episode. Why? Because I am a car person. I love cars. I don't care if it's a low rider or a hot rod like my dad used to have. I love cars. Anything that has to do with Fast 10, I love cars. Okay? So, we're going to take you on a tour to a show here in Houston. We're going to break it down to you, the history of the lowrider culture, where it started, things like that. Now, lowriders started in the 1940s in California. That is over a hundred years old. Wow, really? Really, that That's is a long really time. Cool. Yes, so we're going to have you join us Get into the show, look at all the cars, all the bikes, everything, all right, guys? So come on, let's go. All right, kids, let's go. All right, guys, join us as we go to this specific car show. Now, at the end of this video, I also have clips from other meets and cruises that we did in the evening. These meets and shows can happen anytime during the day or night, but you can see all these different unique lowrider cars. So many different years and models, guys. The unique creativity that every person puts into action in each vehicle. Every car is different in their own way. People of all ages. In the Chicano culture, it's also important to remember that parents teach their kids at a young age the little rider lifestyle as well. It's beautiful. So there's a car with hydraulics and you'll see more vehicles right there. Beautiful little rider cars, guys. So many colors. Their displays are so different and unique. It's so much fun to be a part of this lifestyle. Hispanics take pride in their vehicles and the work they put into it. And it definitely costs a lot of money. So they work hard and save their money so they can fix it. And there's their final project. You'll see big cars, little cars, long cars, round cars. Now this was one of my favorites that day at the show, three wheel. It looks like it's on three wheels and that driver's side tire is up in the air. It's just gorgeous. It's called hydraulics. We'll save that for another show. Now here is a mini truck. Mini trucks were very popular in the 1980s. And here we have the back of this truck moving, dancing, and it's just so much fun to see these trucks doing that here in Houston. Here you have a lowrider car with hydraulics. It's so much fun to watch these cars doing it. The kids come with their parents and they just love it. They have competitions on how high the vehicles can jump. This was at a hopping night at Hardy Yards, the bridge. I loved it. This truck made the crowd go crazy. I loved the blue undergo lights underneath it. Look how high that is going, kids. That is super high, I'm telling you. The weight of the vehicle depends on how high it can jump, guys. It is so much fun to actually experience that. Also from Houston, Texas, we have this beautiful truck look at how it sits look at that gorgeous now remember the part of the video at the beginning where i had shared that parents teach their kids the lowrider style well this is day day he is very famous for hopping cars and for knowing how to hit the switches and driving and he is i believe nine years old that's right nine years old look at him Bitchy's gonna have his own lowrider when he gets older. We are almost to the end of this video and I want to end it with cruise night. 
all the lowriders get together at a certain spot and cruise downtown in Houston and everybody gets to bring their cars. So it doesn't matter if you have a lowrider bike, motorcycle, car, truck, stroller, or anything. It's all about sharing your history and taking pride in it. Thanks.